Nkosi Natizwane is a child Guaito star, a television presenter, and an entrepreneur. Now, if you guys are lost by that name, Nkosi Natizwane, well, he went by the stage name of Umzambia. While I'm filling you guys in, I also like to point out that yes, he started off as a child Guaito star, but he did continue his Guaito career into his teens and his adulthood. Basically, he is a Guaito star and a Guaito legend. Hello, and welcome to Red Live. Some background. Mzambia started his music career at the age of 11 at around 1997. About a year later, 1998, he was discovered by Bull Dogs Entertainment. At the age of 12, they signed him and he became the youngest recording Kwaito artist at the time. For those of you who do follow Kwaito very closely, his record of being the youngest recording Kwaito artist was overthrown by none other than Umsawawa. Back to Mzambia, a lot of you guys might know him for his hit song, Mele Senzeni. <laughs> However, a lot of people will argue that To Jersey Number 10 was actually his biggest hit song. This song just goes to show that the jersey number 10 in football has been an important number from a very long time ago. But me personally, having grown up as Zola, I would say my biggest and my most favorite song of Umzambia is definitely Zola. <laughs> Albums. The albums that I could personally find of Umzambia was From Zola to Hollywood, Heir to the Throne, Still I Rise, Zigote, as well as I found Mzambia vs Chipa Undisputed, as well as Mzambia vs Chipa Undisputed Volume 2. So what happened to Umzambia? According to Mzambia, he took a break from the spotlight and the limelight to focus on other ventures. He did become a TV presenter. He presented Jiga Machiga the dance show for two seasons, so he did get some television experience under his belt. He also goes on to say that he wanted to become an average guy, so he actually got a job at 9 to 5. He was a content producer at a radio station, and he said he has tried to ground himself and go back to being an average guy, but he'd still get a couple of people on the street who'd recognize him. Obviously, I mean, he is is um Zambia, and he's one of those Kwaito legends that drove and made Kwaito what it is. He's also become a motivational speaker. He speaks mostly about financial literacy. There are reports that state that Mzambia has estimated that in his 20 year career in the music industry, he estimates that he has made over 14 million rands. So now what he does is he speaks to young people about making sound financial decisions. Now he has said that a lot of the money that he lost was through contracts that he signed with record labels and music video producers who give him a certain percentage from the work he's also said that a lot of these contracts were very complicated and considering that he came into the music industry at a very young age i could understand where he's coming from but mzambia has said that now he's actually in a better place financially and he gives credit to god amen as well as the people who have guided him over the years he also went on to say to be honest with you it has not always been fruity there were times when i had nothing lost everything and had to get myself back again but by the grace of God you will survive you know and your talent will put you closer to the greatest people. He's also ventured into business and has become an entrepreneur. He's got a portfolio in property but I do know that a lot of you guys want to know about what he's been up to musically. So music wise Mzambia has recently reunited with the guys over at Bulldogs Records who discovered him back in 1998 and it is said that they are currently working on new music. So that is something to actually look forward to in the future. In the meantime if you want to hear his latest offering he did do a collab with them sawawa they've got a song out titled imoto ga shugel I will be honest, you know, I do like the song, but it does sound like a lot of the latest stuff that's coming out. I was kind of hoping to get that authentic Kwaito feel, but I do understand, you know, you gotta move with the current times, and currently, you know, Ikom is taking over. And as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to Red Live if you haven't, and binge watch my previous videos.